Hey Glam Fam, it's MUA Mommy here. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I am going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look right here. So if you're interested in learning how to do this cute little pastel moment, then keep on watching. First, I always start with priming my eyelids. To prime my eyes, I use the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly Primer. Next, I'm going to take the shade Virgin from the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Straw Breaker Palette, and I am going to pack that all over my eyelid to act as a setting base for the primer that we just laid down. Next, I'm going to go in immediately with the shade Good Morning, and I'm going to blend that into my crease as the transition shade. It is a very light pinkish shade. It's really hard to show up on camera, but that's what I'm going to use as the transition shade. Next, I am going in with the shade Bubblegum, and I am going to focus that on the outer corner of my eye and blend it right into the crease. Now I'm going to take the shade Gumdrop, and I am going to do the exact same thing that we did with Bubblegum, but just a little bit lower so you can still see the Bubblegum peeking through. This is just to add more pastel, more dimension, and a little bit extra color, and I really love how this purple looks on the eye. I think these two shades together make for a really pretty match. Next, I'm gonna take the shade Jawbreaker and pack it right onto the inner portion of my lid, creating a half cut crease feel. I really love how pigmented and bright and sparkly this color is, and I really think it brings out the other colors, and I like the way it looks with my eyes. If needed, take a little bit of that gun drop shade again, just to blend out the edges so the cut crease isn't too harsh. And then just go right in with the shade Q and blend that under your lower lash line just for an extra pop of color. And I love the way blue and purple kind of contrast with each other. I think it makes for a really pretty look. Then we're going to go in with the Jawbreaker shade and pop that in the inner corner highlight and on the brow bone. I just realized that I said Jawbreaker when I did the shiny half cut crease. That was actually the shade Snack, so I do apologize for getting those mixed up, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Next, I am taking my Tarte Better Than Sex eyeliner in the color Deepest Black, and I'm going to run that as a tight, thin line along my lash line, just so it'll blend my lashes better when I put them on. On my lower lash line, I put in my NYX Jumbo Liner in 604 Milk. I really like putting white liner in my lower lash line. I feel like it makes my eyes look bigger and it really brings them out. For mascara, I use Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara and the order I do it is I do my top lashes and then I put the falsies on. While those falsies are drying, I do my lower lashes and then I go back and do another coat on the top lashes to blend in the falsies with my regular lashes, hopefully that makes sense. And for false lashes, I am using the Ardell Lashes in style 601. All right, now that the eyes are done, they looking good, we are going to prime our face. And for today's primer on the face, I use the Ulta Hydrating Face Primer. And then I'm also going to use my foundation in Maybelline 24 Hour 102 Fair Porcelain. For concealer, I'm going to use my e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer in Fair Beige. This is the first time I've used a concealer and I was extremely impressed with how it looked on my skin and how it blended out. Definitely recommend. For setting powder, I use the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Setting Powder and I just use translucent and I'm going to put that all over my face to set everything I just did.
For a light contour bronzy look, I am going to go in with my ABH powder bronzer in the shade Tawny, and I'm just going to chisel out the cheekbones, the forehead, and the nose a little bit, but not too much because I don't want it too heavy. I just wanted a nice soft bronze look. For blush, I used this Ulta Beauty palette and I used the shade Record Label. I don't think this palette has an actual name. I got it in like a free gift, but this pretty blush is really nice and subtle and I didn't want something too extreme. For highlight, of course, I'm gonna go in with my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Supreme Frost Highlight in the shade Hypothermia. The shade is really unique. It doesn't apply on the face like it looks in the pan. I really don't know how to explain it. It's just super beautiful and stunning and of course blinding, but that's nothing new with our Queen Jeffree. For setting spray, I'm just going to use the Urban Decay D Slick Setting Spray, and then after I apply a generous amount of that, I just use a fan and I fan it all out. Helps dry faster and it makes you look and feel bougie. And of course, to top everything off, I am going to use an iconic Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick. I am using the shade Question Mark. It's the mystery shade that came in my mystery box. It is an absolutely stunning nude pink very wearable every day so stunning i absolutely love it i really hope you guys enjoyed this video today let me know what you think in the comments my first time doing a tutorial and a voiceover let me know if you decide to recreate this look remember to stay strong stay beautiful and love yourself always bye glam fam